Hello! It's my first video for my June Madness video a day and today I've got a new series for you called Mixed Media Mondays and here are my beautiful supplies. Um, today I'm using the April Hip Kit and I haven't used it yet. I'm very excited and oh, actually okay I lie. I haven't used the kit but I used the pencils. Um, couldn't help myself. Um, so today the mixed media that I'm looking at are these Heidi Swap watercolor cards, the Prima watercolor pencils, but if you want to replicate this, um, this feel, any watercolor pencils will do. And these L Studio stamps, I think they're from the Sienna collection. So let's get started now. Okay. See this paper? It's, it's all right. Oh, I'm sorry. I just can't deal with that side. So I knew I wanted to use that as a background and I'm just going to crop a piece of white um, cardstock to put over the top. Now, usually I would cut out the center of the paper, but I just need to use that paper up. Um, this was, I think this was part of the embellishment add-on um, and it was a cut apart 12 by 12 piece and what I did is I cut them all apart and then those ones in my right hand are ones that I wouldn't use so I just turned them over to the pink side. So my magic hands, so let's get started. First I'm priming my white cardstock with some clear gesso and scrapey scrapey scrapey. Um, I hope you are all well today. I'm very excited for June. So this is the first video and I'm doing a video a freaking day and I can't freaking believe it. Um, yeah. And, but okay. In saying that I've recorded the first five days. How good am I? They're all ready. They're ready to go. Um, so the first, the next five days will probably be up in the mornings and then Saturday will probably be up in the afternoon cause I'll do a bit of scrapping. So this photo is a photo of my friend Cara and I, and Cara is probably, yeah, she is, she's my longest friend. Um, we met on the f orientation of year seven. And if she's watching this, I remember our, my fondest earliest memory is picking all of the ham and pineapple off the complimentary ham and pineapple pizzas that we got on our first day of year seven and that just bonded us together and we were friends ever since um so this is a photo of us snugged up in some cute they're kind of like aztec -y print throw blankets that she had and they're really snuggly and warm so although the blankets are red i don't know why but i thought hey let's use pink why not um, but I tie the red and the pink together using the watercolor pencils, which you'll see in a little moment. So I'm denied about which Heidi Swap card to use for a while. I did like the, the circle, the dotty one, um, but I thought it might be a bit too much dots. Although you can't really have too much dots. So this one worked out beautifully anyway. Um, so here I'm just using a water brush pen. I don't know what brand it is. I'm sorry. And all I'm doing is fill the water, bunny bite, ah, protecting the surface. Um, so all I'm doing here is grabbing my water brush and squeezing the water brush slightly so that the water gets to the tip of those watercolor pencils and the color just literally pours out of them. It's incredible. So I started with some red, some red. Yep. Now I'm adding some orange and some pink and just doing various layers. And once the, this watercolor card is already a bit wet, when you put the color on it like bleeds and it's, oh, it's beautiful. Then because I'm impatient, I <laughs> had to hair dryer it dry. Um, now, usually I would just let it dry to get the best color variation, but I was just too impatient. And there you go. It's all done. Now, when here's a warning. When you do hairdryer it, put it on a low setting and don't go like too close because the color will blah, it will explode off your page. Um, so I grabbed the uh, Amy Tan. Um, oh, my God. Mental Black. Rise and Shine. Um, six by six paper pad, which I think is in the Project Life kit for April. Um, but I put all my stuff together. And I just wanted a couple of papers to uh, layer with. And do you know what? You know me, girls. You know I'm not an orange and yellow person. 
But this layout kind of asked for it. It was just the, I don't know, the pattern of the blankets. And then I, I had to put a bit of pink in there too. And I didn't realize, but when I cut the photo, it was like the perfect size for these Amy Tan frames. Um, and I knew I wasn't going to use that orange on any other layout. So I thought I would pop it in here, which did mean it covered up that original orange matte paper. So I just grabbed it to put another little bit behind. Now this, oh, you will see me struggle with this silly double-sided sticky tape so much. I usually get my double-sided sticky tape from um, Spotlight, but I was desperate and got some from a, another store, which is not as good quality. And it is the worst double-sided sticky tape I've ever met. Now, I have met some double-sided sticky tape, and believe me, this is not worthy of being called an adhesive. Um, uh, it's just rubbish so I struggle with it a lot in this layout and those orange grid pattern ones I actually just cut the back of the packaging from the Amy Tan frames um, if you haven't watched before I do love using packaging in my layouts and today is no different now I really like the splodge that was on the left there so I off-centered my um, photo a bit because you know what I could um, and now I'm just looking for something to back those words because I just wanted it to stand out a little bit so I chose this look at the hiccups ah! um, I chose this light pink paper from that rise and shine paper pad because it had kind of a watercolory look and just putting some glossy accents around the letters just to make sure that they're all stuck now this I just did this the wrong way I really should have cut the paper first but that would be sensible and who does sensible um, those end pieces were really flapping up, so they needed a bit of extra encouragement to stick down, a bit of extra points for it to, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor things. This is video number one and you have to sit through another 30 days of this. Um, so sticky, sticky, oh, rippy, rippy. Yep. You know what it was doing? The, it was like the top glossy layer of tape was coming off, but it was leaving this papery bit. Frida, do you really need to bite the cardboard box right now? Sorry if you can hear that. Frida is gnawing on a cardboard box right now because she can. So now it comes to pump up. I'm not one of those people that really lie everything out and then take it all off and stick it back because I just I th I just would I just would change everything if I did that. Um, and the people that do, I envy you. I really do because you actually plan it. Um, so here I am just willy-nilly. I love that phrase, willy-nilly. I don't Is that an Aussie phrase or is that – will people understand that? Willy-nilly. means random. Um, willy-nilly-ling-ly. Willy-nilly-ling-ly. <laughs> Sticking those circles everywhere and chopping off the excess with my giant scissors um and why not add some more circle embellishments so grabbing i love these amy tan wood veneer taggy things because they're color i mean why haven't people brought out i actually there was some a project life value kit i think had some yeah it did because i have it i think um but there should be more colored wood veneer note to companies if you are watching this which i guarantee you're not more colored wood veneer please it's beautiful so just added a little heart and some of these epoxy stickers i picked kind of ones that i probably wouldn't put on like a layout by itself so ones that had kind of geometric designs and things because i thought they went well with the um the pattern of the blankie blankie and now I'm up to stamping. Now I make a mess of my fingers so bad with this VersaFine ink. Is it just me or um, do other people have troubles with this? Because I just had black everywhere. <laughs> I just made a huge mess. And these stamps are really, really sweet. They're from the Sienna. They had a name. The name is over the other side of the room and I can't get to it right now, but they're from the Sienna collection. And I love that, the, I think it's I Heart You, it says. Um, it fitted in the circle, the little circles perfectly. So the punches that I used, I think the small one's one inch, I know that for sure. Um, and a lot of people have asked me where I got my one inch 
punch from because that's what I use for the epoxy flare DIY tutorial. Um, and I got it from Spotlight. It was just a Fiskars one. Um, and then the large circle punch, I think it's two inch. I'm just going to guess. Um, and I got that from Lingcraft and I think it's just there. They seem to only have one brand there. So it's just the brand from Lingcraft. And just going through and attaching some of those sweet um, crepe paper turquoise uh, sequins. That's what they're called. And covering up my face because I guarantee that I would get black ink on it otherwise. And I'm going crazy with the black ink. I felt like it just needed some black ink to tie in the, um, the stamping just a little bit. And I don't know how this happens, but the black ink seems to like explode and just everywhere. I'm doing an action with my hands that's like hands together and then hands blurring apart. That one near where I stick this gold always just explodes into a giant black blob. So I end up covering up. You can see it. Oh my God, you can see it on camera. Whoa, look at how giant it is now. All right, I must have paused it, but it's giant and no one likes it. It doesn't belong there. But lucky you can always cover things up. That's my motto in scrapbooking. Um, yep, thumbs down to the black splot. Um, so I use those thickers. I think they're from the Rise and Shine collection as well. Um, and just put always friends because we might not go we might not see each other for months and months or talk to each other and then we catch up and it's like nothing has ever changed and we're best mates it's it's fantastic i love cara and using some of those little amy tan words sticky sticky them down and i'm done so it wasn't too mixed media today next week's one is going to be full mixed media expect paint expect modeling paste expect gelatos it's going to be full on but I really wanted to break open this kit and get it used and oh baby wipes are your best friend if you haven't got baby wipes for your craft room get them they're amazing they can wipe up anything there we go so yeah thanks for watching everyone and I'm so happy to bring you a video a day in June um, down below you'll see the link for my new Facebook group called Scrapaholics Anonymous please join us it's just a space for us to share um, crafty ideas and layouts and questions and just have a whole lot of freaking fun all right thanks for watching guys and I will talk to you tomorrow <gasps> I haven't said that in forever bye